Message from Starfleet Command, top priority. You are listening to the Trek Ranks Podcast, a member of the Tricorder Transmissions Podcast Network. This is episode 166, featuring the best deaths. Welcome, Star Trek fans. I am Jim Morris. I'm the host of the Trek Banks podcast. And tonight, we're doing another live show in Vegas. We have a hotel room full of past Trek Banks guests. Are you guys here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy. It's the most people we've ever had on an episode of Trek Banks. More than but the main I- cast of any Star Trek show. <laughs> <laughs> There are going to be nine people making picks, 45 total picks, but it's going to be rapid fire. It's going to be just like a regular episode. It's going to be fantastic. But you might be sitting at the start of listening to a two and a half hour episode. And that is not happening. It'll be under two hours. What's the over under? And, (laughs) you know, let's just get this out of the way. This is not top five deaths. This is the best deaths. And joining us tonight for this incredible topic are Jamie McGregor, Jen Tift, Ken Riley, Claire Little, Josh Duffy, Alex Perry, Matt Hansen, and Thad Hates, and myself. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. All right, we're jumping into our Trek Ranks recalibration. What are you recalibrating? Everything. Um, it's it's a sweeping, uh, a recalibration of all systems. Okay, the Trek Ranks Charter has two clauses. We rank <laughs> Trek so we can have a fun conversation about Star Trek. And two, the ranks don't matter. We just use them as a framework to have a deep dive conversation about all things we love about Star Trek. Because as Mr. Spock himself has said... Infinite diversity in infinite combinations, symbolizing the elements that create truth and beauty. There are no wrong answers at Trek Ranks. This show is about sharing the things we love about Trek. And we love it all. From TOS to TNG, straight to the Enterprise, the Kelvin timeline, now Discovery, Picard, Strange New Worlds, Short Treks, Lower Decks, and Prodigy as well. It's all fair game here on the Trek Ranks podcast. Black alert. Black alert. And a reminder that this episode is current through the Star Trek Strange New Worlds Subspace Rhapsody, the ninth episode of their second season and the 892nd overall episode of Star Trek across the past 57 years. And one final reminder, we use episodes as a shorthand term, but the 13 films are always in play as well. Hailing frequencies open. Thank you, Mr. Warp. You can hail me directly on Twitter at Trek Ranks or at Enterprise N Extra. And you can see our extensive rankings of all the Treks at TrekRanks.com. And don't forget, you can call and leave us a message with your own picks at 609 512 LLAP. At 609 512 5527. Okay, everyone, quickly, how can we get a hold of you, Jamie? Uh. Can we say threads now? I don't know. Sure. Everything is on threads. I'm on threads and Twitter. Uh, don't know my hands. J-Mac something. J-Mac something. Uh, Jen Tiff. Eat a course. Uh, eat a course. Uh, Ken Riley, Trek Core. Yay. That's it. You got it. Uh, Claire Little. Twitter, isolinear chip with an underscore at the end. Josh Duffy. Duffy JM underscore JM, I think. Still at Twitter, <laughs> Alex Perry. I prefer not to be contacted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weekly track, Matt Hansen. At, at M Hansen 0207 on Twitter. And that hey. At Tyrannicus. That's T Y R A N I C U S. Okay. <clears throat> this is amazing. It's going to be a room full of chaos here. We're going to skip <laughs> our diagnostic cycle. We're going straight into our prime directives. So here we go. Do they know about prime directive? They know everything I know, sir. And you're about to know everything we know about our prime directive. So before we go, Just a quick recap of this is our fifth convention track ranks. We've done this four times before, three times in Vegas, once in Chicago. Previous topics, Trek's Mount Rushmore, costumes, sleazy locales, (laughs) and Trek gambles. And now we're doing the best deaths. And let me be clear, that topic is the best deaths. Just like that, because this is not top five deaths. This is the best deaths. 
Jamie, what's your prime director? Well, the good thing is I have no idea what that means. Exactly. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I have uh, taken um, whatever I wanted to do in terms of deaths and run with it. Um, my prime directive is I have decided to go with, because I, I don't like generally applauding the deaths of people, um, you know, uh, so so what I've decided you don't? to do. No, I don't. That I don't. is not a puppet. Don't play with oh, that. Oh, sorry. Case the puppet. <laughs> I'm worried. Is that a? I think you just committed a hate crime against that. Worried. Is this? Is it used in those cases where you ask where the puppet? Um, no, it's a lower deck thing. Okay. Oh, seven right. minutes, and we're completely off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know where edit that out. I don't know where to jump in. <laughs> not don't editing you dare. anything. Don't you dare. We're not editing anything. <laughs> so my prime directive is: I've decided to go with. Mirror people, alternate universe people, oh, doppelgangers, like oh, like people that. who, if they snub it, you don't care because like there's it. such you love humanity so much. I love that humanity so much. So <laughs> Jen, tell yeah. us about My, your best. Death. Mine is similar in that I have no sad deaths in the sense that, like, I'm not a sociopath and I don't want people to die. But beyond that <laughs> fact, sure. the, these deaths aren't, <laughs> oh. aren't well, these deaths are not people that you care about in the sense beyond regular humanity you caring about people wow, I'm not dying. I'm really learning about stuff about you. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, I think Tom, maybe we yeah, should take it as red, red unless you decide working. to announce that you are a sociopath. <laughs> yeah, right? Perhaps we just say we're all not sociopaths yes. as our sort of like, I just like, wanted to make it clear like our fundamental starting position. I think, I, no think I might be. Okay. <laughs> Uh, mine is very simple. There are deaths that are important, but we didn't see on screen. Oh, that's good. One of mine's like nice. that. Uh, I don't enjoy like major character death. So yeah, it's just memorable deaths, funny, weird deaths, yeah. deaths that come to mind. I do want to say I dedicate all of my picks to all of the people who could easily have been saved by regular cardiopulmonary resuscitation by Beverly <laughs> Crusher, who never, ever did it. Well, because you got to dab them in the brain. Yeah, uh, there you go. Josh? Mine are very similar to Claire's, emotionally striking or important, but I did stay away from, to use the Vegas gambling, I did stay away, stay away from chalky picks. So okay. significant favorite picks I tried to stay yes. away from. And by the way, that's what we mean by the best. Spock's death and Rathcon, right. that's not That's Chuck. That's best a top death. death. That's yeah, top that's five, five deaths. Death. That's yes. what we mean, Alex. For sure. Um, all of my characters had to have a cool last line before they die. Oh, oh love fantastic. It. So if they yeah, just okay. die, they don't count. Okay, well, no. none of mine fit that. <laughs> so, so I took death to mean the end of something. So some of mine are not even characters. So some of them are existential, some of them are not even. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That, cool. sounds, that sounds smart. <laughs> Bad. So my. I don't really have a prime directive. It's mostly a potpourri of a whole mixture of things, including deaths that are important to our characters, deaths that are important to the viewers, deaths that are cool, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of different stuff. That's awesome. That's now, Matt, I do have a quick question. So you really just picked the final episode of the five series, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my prime directive is twisty, cunning, interesting deaths that you don't see coming. Some of them happen off screen or in dialogue only. And I'm not going with any big flashy or chalk deaths. <clears throat> okay, that sums it up. Amazing. We are rolling through this. Here we go. Third Demoticon, introduce us to the order of things. I am a Jem'Hadar. He is a Vorta. It is the order of things. Thank you, Third Demoticon. As always, everyone will start with their five word summary and a hashtag to tease their pick and we'll reveal the best death. We want to highlight, and of course, everyone will pick an episode to associate with that pick. And after getting through five rounds of picks, we'll go through a few secondary system selections for everyone. And remember, if we have any duplicate picks, make sure you listen for the Defiant Torpedoes. Okay, Jamie, we're starting with you. We're going in order here. What's your number five pick Okay, for the best deaths? Five words in a hashtag. Uh, Mad Mud's Multiple Manic Murders, hashtag 53 Who's Counting, 
Discovery season one, episode seven, magic to make the sanest man go mad. It yes. is a kind of a mirror. All It's both mirror and alternate timeline. Lorca, who bites the dust several times. Why didn't you tell me that you had so many wonderful toys? Ooh. Wonder what this does. I'm thinking it might melt brains. Does it melt brains? You kill a Starfleet captain. They lock you up forever. You know that. Do you know how many times I've had the pleasure of taking your life, Lorca? Uh, disintegrated, <laughs> shot, whatever what it might be. A great moment. Um, Perfect. And the one thing about that show that I, I, I love is the fact that I am led to believe the script was a total mess until like two, two minutes before filming. And yet it is still, I think, one of Discovery's best yeah. episodes. So so the go. best episodes yes. turn out that way. Lorca is magic to make the same as man. Go mad. <laughs> Thing and disintegrates. It's yeah. fabulous. Ash yeah. and Burnham. Yeah. Like, to, like yeah. there's a lot of great stuff. Doesn't he also get injected into his space? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Into space. Space. That, and what was his whole number? 853? 53 but ways, uh, 50, he was killed 53 times. Okay, but I think. Who's okay. counting? I thought there was a higher number, but like the ways that he died. 53, but who's counting? And it never gets old. Oh, drat, we're almost out of time. I'll figure out how that little motor of yours works sooner or later. I've got all the time in the world. And in the meanwhile, we still don't know what this does. Let's find out. Fantastic first pick for the best death. Gent, what's your okay. number five pick? Number five pick. He died as he lived. Hashtag yes. underestimating people and misidentifying tools. This is Deep Space Nine, season five, episode 24, Empoch Noor, yep. Amaro being murdered with a flux coupler. Yes! <laughs> By Garrick. Oh my God. <laughs> right, your, your favorite engineering tool. My favorite engineering tool. It's yep. a multitasker, apparently. It's yep. a really cool way to die. It's so pointy. He asked me to get a coil spanner for him. I just turned my back for a second. It's a shame. And the worst part of it is, this isn't a coil spanner. It's a flux coupler. It's so pointy. Two I, point. Why is it so pointy? I'm sorry, you said you're not a sociopath? <laughs> 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 oh, we, we might have to. I'm starting a stat right now for how many of these deaths Garrett committed. <laughs> Might be, that might be in play again. The best slasher episode. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so I love good. it. Okay, Ken, what's your pick? All right. My uh, five words are only seen in his dreams. Hashtag fried Floridian. It's Elizabeth Tucker trips. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. No. Fried Floridian. Wait, what episode are you picking? Oh, no. I'm going to go with the expanse when it happened off screen. Yeah, okay. That's oh, off no. screen. Yeah, that's, that's all my picks. They all happened off screen. You're not going to do the, oh, the influence waving? Stuff, it influenced the whole season three. That's yeah. true. Not a psychopath. And his yeah. hashtag was fried <laughs> Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't okay. know. I, say I know. <laughs> she got boiled a lot. Yeah. Poached. Uh, uh, yeah, but then you don't have that great. Crab oil. You don't have that great alliteration without <laughs> like fried <laughs> oil. We should be sad about this one, Claire. What's your? All right. Five Move words. <laughs> Five words saving the best for last. Hashtag exactly the right amount of information, actually. It is Curzon getting yes. fucked to death. Yes. 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 Uh, let he who is without sin, which is Vanessa not a great Williams. episode, but just the but I mean, if you have to go, Vanessa, Williams. that yeah. is yeah. not That's something right. you put in an go. actual episode of Star Trek. That's something you joke about, right? But they put it in an actual episode. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, they're so close to picking that. Uh, <laughs> I got you. I mean, it's the way he would want to go. It's yeah, yeah. It's yeah. The way really we would is. all want yeah. to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a smile. <laughs> We saw the smile. Yeah, we saw the smile. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. Brings a whole e new context I mean, to Emissary. <laughs> oh, even, oh. Even, even as a gay guy, I can't dispute that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Josh, would you like to follow up that with your number five? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring us down. Oh, okay, okay. My okay. five oh. words is, there is no right answer. Ooh. Hashtag, team me box. Mm. 
Oh, it's too fixed. Oh my oh. god. Oh. <laughs> I don't know um, that anything <laughs> needs to be said. <laughs> no, you just uh, added a whole other hour to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great depth. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty great depth. Just... So that was my number one pick. There we go. Oh, it is. What's your five words and hashtag? Yeah, let's hear my five words and hash. My five words are endless fan debate for decades. Yeah. Hashtag yes. Oh Starless Night of Boundless Black. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you die, you want to be remembered, right? And right. Uh, and why, why not be remembered by being argued about for, for the rest of time? Right. Yeah. And, uh, what a great way to go! The people who killed him do not remember. Him. <laughs> <laughs> and let's never speak of him again. That's right. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Alex Perry, what do you got? <laughs> All right, five word summary offbeat changeling, chewing the scenery, hashtag fucking solids. Yeah. This is Star Trek yes. Picard, season three, episode eight, surrender and the death of Vedic. Yes. yes. Who gets sucked out of you screen after. Oh, blown out. Uh, excuse me, yes. <laughs> blown out. Yeah. Sorry. Of you screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank oh, you, Jamie. <laughs> Just uh, had the wrong one on the break. We can't do it now! Bridge, open the evacuation hatch now! Get off my bridge. Oh, fucking solid. Uh, yeah, like a great F bomb and a great final line from that character. Absolutely. I love nice. it. I love it. Okay, Matt Hansen. All right, so like I said, not all of mine are actual people. And this one actually came to me last night because I just saw it last night. Oh. Uh, so my five words and a hashtag are, it's freedom and I like it. Hashtag, I'm ready. The death of the Chapel Spock relationship. It's so oh. Special. Oh. And up to the minute. That is uh, yeah. I like wow. it. Yeah. Okay, and I, yeah. I, I picked it because, I mean, it's it was well done. It had the best song that I definitely want to do the next time that I'm drunk. <laughs> and, and it was just great. So you're doing it yeah. tonight? Yes. Um, <laughs> that'll, be at, that'll be at the end of this episode. <laughs> That's right. fantastic. That and by the way, that was the death of the Spock Chapel relationship. Tell Chapel that in uh, the original series. Well, yeah. until she goes and lives her life and then realizes, right. oh, I want that. <laughs> Amazing. All right, I love that pick. Okay, my five words and a hashtag. Death by Krieger waves, hashtag, he is the fool you take him for. <laughs> it's Dr. Epgar blowing himself up, Yay! trying to kill Riker in a matter of perspective. I You're love, a dead man, Epgar. I, a dead man. <laughs> I love this death. It's fantastic. You don't see it coming. The whole thing, he did it himself. You think like, he also has the best prop, like prop house computer panels. Yeah. Of anyone. Oh yeah, oh, that whole, I, the whole set. Oh my god, in that lab, which he blew up himself. Loser, <laughs> after <laughs> fitting end to like this fuck up sad sack loser. Absolutely, <laughs> he got the death he deserved. Yeah, I His forgot that though. I rewatched it. I forgot that the crux of it was he was selling it as a weapon yes. to the robbers. Yeah. Yes. 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 So he yes. got what he deserved. He I love it, Doctor Abgar. That guy. Okay, round four, Jamie. Okay, five, uh, time to bring us down again a little bit. I know everyone will be very emotional with this pick. Five, yeah, five words. He was real to me. Hashtag Kim promotion. Voyager season oh. five, episode 18, Course Oblivion. Oh, and it's the, no. uh, it's the death of the entire <laughs> biomimetic crew. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. a good pick. I'm kind of, it, it's a bit sad. I mean, but, it, but I kind of feel that if you're going to talk about the best deaths, a heroic yeah. death is an yeah. important one. I think it's... And, you know, fighting to preserve yeah. the record of your very existence, even if you're doomed to failure. Um, and I did think it was great that um, it was an opportunity for Kim to get a promotion, given that there was literally no one else left alive. <laughs> and, and, I, and I literally think it's, the, it's so fitting that Kim is the one that gets them all destroyed. <laughs> well, and the fact that we only ever see Paris, Tom and Bolana's wedding through their perspective yeah, yeah, uh, true, right, right, yeah. means that they really did live. They yeah, really were good. real. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were more successful than the real Voyager. Yeah. They Why were knocking on the door of the Alpha Squadron. I'm a Harry Kim no, before. I, I just, he was the last one to push it. Yeah, there's nothing to do with him. Know, they were I, fading I, away I anyway. No, that was his fault. It's fitting. Scurrilous lot. Um, I'm loving your prime directive. Fantastic. Jen, what do you got? Okay. Number four pick. He died as he lived. 
hashtag advancing the plot. This is Voyager <laughs> season three, episode one, basics part two. Oh, no. oh, oh yeah. yeah. By, by the uh, well, yeah, by Neelix. <laughs> oh, man, uh, but, but the Hanonian land eel, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Right. But nice the reason he makes my list is because then his remains show yes. up in distant origin. Yes. And that's, uh, the, the by the vault oh. sciences. Oh, so that, uh, the depth is so good. Is, so good. Yeah. The Hogan showing and, up again later. Yeah. Yeah. That my, almost made my list. My favorite is every time I see Hogan and Jonas together that season, I'm like, Neelix kills both these guys. There's a couple of scenes where they interact. They interact together. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's, you know, bones left from one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome pick, Ken. All right. My round four pick is me. Uh, five words are me, but from another reality. Hashtag emotionally compromised. It is Spock Prime in Star Trek Beyond. Uh, yeah. Died uh, on screen. And uh, influenced uh, Kelvin Spock the rest of the week. Episode is now canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that could just be a top five death yeah. as opposed yeah. to a the best death. Actually, I that, applies, that fits both. That's really I good. I think, and I think it was handled really in the good. best way that it uh, So good. Be. Mm-hmm. Another great Prime director. I'm loving this. Single tier. Claire. My five words are I've had just about enough. Hashtag oh yeah. 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 Good one. Lord Krug in Star Trek 3. Uh we don't get a lot of like f- you deaths in Star Trek. Yeah. Star Trek oh, yeah. is about negotiation yeah. and coming to the table, all the stuff. That's a really satisfying okay. Yeah, that was with well and truly <laughs> deserved. That is you killed my son, you die now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna pull you up this cliff, I'm going to kick you down it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I have often thought that exact line on hold with customer support. Yes. <laughs> 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 that, that, that exact quote was coming Yes. I am having enough of you. I like that. There's not a lot of f- you deaths in track. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's the best of them. I think the only other so, one is like Nero. They're like, hey, all right, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, Josh. All right, bring this back down to the heavy thinking. Yeah. This whole round is heavy and thinking. That's true. Force oblivion. <laughs> My five yeah. words should give it away. Clerk, war criminal, it matters. I'm Goldar Heel. Oh. It's Maritza. Oh my God. In duet. Where's it? That's a that's a good that one. Is, oh, yeah. That yeah. is a death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it gets a lie. Yeah, that, that, I was trying to do my Kira, but I can't remember the line. No, it's not. No, there's no way she said right. no, it's not. Why? He wasn't our heel. Why? He's a Cardassian. That's reason enough. No. It's not. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, like, it's no, it, it's mean, not STL. He's a current That's, 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 that's how I do it. That was my whole reason for doing this as a prime directive. Right. Yeah. Okay, Maritza. Dear listeners, we are having a statistics interlude. <laughs> okay, Alex, round four pick. All right, five word summary. Heroic Starfleet captain chewing the scenery. Hashtag times up. <laughs> Yes. 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 Star Trek Voyager season yes. four, episode nine, and Captain Catherine Janeway. Wow. At the end of year of Hell Yes. yes. Okay. Who, so who technically dies there? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Literally yeah. everybody, everybody dies, dies and gets reset. Resets. Back to the beginning yeah. again. Yeah, well, I think well, some people beam off the other ships, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but well, because the timeline resets, <laughs> yeah, they all die. Well, right, right, right. Literally everybody. Time. Time. Yes. Ooh, I Same love thing. it. Really. Out of existence. Yeah. I mean, that's just like, in terms of like, a, a, and a, when I was doing this, like there's not a lot of heroes who get deaths where they have like great lines connected to them, right? Ooh. Like a lot of times our main characters have yeah. died. They're really sad or heavy. We've had some <laughs> of them so Ooh. far in this episode and it's like, they don't get that like out on a real like fun high and this one fits that i love it i forgot well. your prime directive that's perfect for your prime directive fantastic 
Okay, Matt, what do you got? So for my next one, I kind of took a little bit of your prime directive in off screen death and a little bit of your prime directive in like minor character, but because I'm such a horror movie fan, I really want to see, would have loved to see the crime scene here. Uh, <laughs> five words, a kick in the head, hashtag that's three. Uh, this is the death of Mobra in the darkness and the light. And if you don't remember who that is, he's Kira's uh, Shakar resistant cell yeah. who dies off screen because an explosive went off in his head. Yeah. But I mean, that, that episode has great deaths, but that's the one that really impacted me and you don't even yeah. get to see it. Just the thought Dude. of it. Amazing. <laughs> That is, wow. that's just pretty the, dark. Just the thought of it. I just like that you like, began with, I wish you had too many Of thoughts. living with an explosive in your head before it's even yeah. gone off, it's already cool. Yeah. I just like that yeah. his his driver is he wanted to see the crime scene. Dad, what's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> All right. My yeah. five words. There are a couple of sociopaths in this room right now. <laughs> My five words are friend's death inspires new friendship. Hashtag Armstrong was first. And it's A.G. Robinson's off-screen death in First Flight, uh, which helps uh, cement uh, the friendship between Archer and T'Pol as he recounts yes. the story. Wow. Oh, it's so oh, sad. That's that's sad. sad. Right. Right. That's that's a sad round. Right. Right. That yeah. I'm looking at Aaron to see if he... No, I uh, 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 not going to be a nope. duplicate. Okay. Yeah, I, love that, I love that it was T'Pol's idea to mm -hmm. name the nebula after him. We love A.G. Robinson. Yeah. That's a fantastic episode and awesome pick. Another one for Enterprise. Check. Okay, I guess it's me. Round four. Let's close it out. This one is about the, the real world situation around this character's death as much as anything. So it's both kind of an in-universe pick and a real world oh, one. I, I love this one. It's a no-brainer for me. I knew I was going to pick it. Five words and a hashtag. Death by promotional bait switch. Hashtag. We barely knew the... And it's Dan B. Carter in the Battle oh, at the Binary sure. Stars. Oh, oh, yes. There's Discovery. Oh, the yeah. actor's name is Seth. Uh, Sam Bartholomew. Sam Bartholomew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam Bartholomew. You should actually know that quickly. Sam, Bar <laughs> <laughs> Sam Bartholomew. And he was part of their promotional course. He was yeah. basically announced. He was great here in Vegas. He was in Vegas. Vegas. He was in Vegas on stage with like the regulars. I thought he was going to be a main character. And he was yeah. going to be yeah. at least a recurring character. Yeah. He was being promoted he had this story about how he was still in acting school and he had to go tell his teacher that he yeah. got this big part yeah. the teacher was like cool you still got to do your coursework <laughs> and next thing you know in the middle of the battle of the binary stars he goes visits burnham in the uh, brig yeah. ships blowing up around him they're having a real deep conversation Bullhead, bulkhead blows, and I mean, he is he does so come slow back down in this place. Yes, 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 yes. He does and come back for a few episodes. As a mirror universe. But, right. yeah, yeah. still has, yeah. A, has an amazing fight scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then yeah. dies again. Yeah. Dies yeah. again. Yeah. But the death was so be another legit. Pick. Like, yeah. Yeah. Was a, the yeah, death was legit, legit and they tricked us. Yeah, no, I mean, which 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 death are you picking? He's got two or something. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. But the original one, I think, happened, like, mid-sentence, and it, like, actually, like, scared us. It literally was like, wait, he was a regular That guy's dead? Oh, my God. Okay. Why don't you try the soup instead? Round three of the soup round. Jamie, what do you got? Okay. My third round pick. Five words. Ashley Judd, hold my beer. Hashtag double jeopardy. And um, so nice. That's a great I'm, movie. I'm looking at it is a great movie. Yeah, and I'm looking at <laughs> season two, episode 13 of the next generation, Time Squared. And uh, the, the pitch of double jeopardy is that you can't get uh, you can't be arrested and accused of doing the same crime twice. And in the same vein, I'm wondering whether Jean-Luc Picard can be arrested for murdering himself uh, in Times Squared. I think it's an amazing death where literally Picard does not bat an eyelid, realizes yes. that the plot requires his own death, raises a phaser <laughs> and phases himself in the chest yeah. and then just walks out of there calling Pulaski to come down and clean up his mess, which, which she does in one of the weirdest scenes of Trek history in my mind, where she walks into the cargo bay with Miles <laughs> with O'Brien. Yeah. And the two of them just have this wordless kind of, are you cleaning this up? I'm not cleaning this up. Are you cleaning this up? <laughs> and also, should we arrest this guy for, like, cold-blooded murder? And the answer is no. You do not <laughs> yeah. uh, in that instance. Anyway, Amazing. I thought it was uh, one of the best deaths. That is You're the, right. <laughs> that is the culmination right. of a whole episode in which it is painfully obvious how much Picard 
hates himself. Oh, yeah. right. 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 Like he is yeah. so annoyed by himself the whole yes. way through the episode. Wow. He cannot stand himself. And yeah, then he yeah. kills him. That may be uh, Patrick Stewart shining through there. Yeah, and, uh, right. It took him a few years to uh, have that come out in Picard. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. <laughs> Picard season two, you know, yeah, comes right. back and finally explains why he feels that way. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> it's a great episode yeah, on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to just kill it. Jen, what's your super round pick? Okay, my super round pick. He died as he lived. Hashtag make This is oh. Enterprise season three, episode 22. The council. This is Corporal Hawkins who gets picked up on the night of all the machines and vaporized. As he, in his, yeah. to his credit, heroically he was, running he towards him to save the very, Paul. He was and, very hard. And now, he was. He was making very hard. And <laughs> yes. he died in the most spectacular <laughs> way. Vaporized by a giant <laughs> machine. I thought, I but he had the but yeah, I thought he was going to be a But he had the best of, it was the worst of both worlds. He got grabbed by the thing. Yeah. Yes. And then got vaporized. Yes. Yeah, because you're like, is, is he going to get squeezed to death? Yeah. Or like, Cut no, off. No. Yeah, no. Vaporized is probably the best thing that could have happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that point, it was like, please vaporize me. It was yeah. very unexpected. Yeah. 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 That's a great death. <laughs> okay, Ken, what do you got? Off screen. We got another so, off screen. All right. <laughs> uh, my five words are pulled him from the rubble. Hashtag death by Duras. It's Worf's parents. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Shines over the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> now, Ren and Ruff. You got it. No, Kittimer. 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 Yeah, you were wrong. Yeah. What episode so. are you picking? Sins oh, of the Pot? Yeah, we go Sins of the Pot. Okay. Starting it all off. Okay, that's heavy. Uh, that's a downer. Okay, I'm, I'm going to counter that heaviness with <laughs> five <laughs> words. You know what like I do. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, five words, too good to be true. Hashtag, but what a way to go. The real horny guy and favorite son who's dead. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. yes. His death yes. is just yes. cut to skeleton. Yes. <laughs> The character's name is Taman. I didn't even remember he had a name. I just remember him as the guy who's like the guy who was really that. happy to have those ladies on his shoulder. He's like really into it. And then he's a desiccated corpse on a bed. <laughs> And with a blindfold, of, right? Yes, the more of like some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. three women yeah. that didn't know you and suddenly claim you are their species, they are going to fuck you to death. Yes. <laughs> yep. What this an episode. <laughs> this is the second time. No, 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 no. To be fair, it's that's not. Worst. And I'll tell you why. Because you I picked it another time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a funny episode. <laughs> Uh, Josh, what's your pick? Well, I'm going to just bypass Claire and kind of follow right along with Ken in the hashtag scream is also a cry. Oh, sorry, that's not hashtag. That's five word summary. Scream is also okay. a cry. Hashtag I am your father. It is reunion. Darth Vader? Oh, <laughs> it's Kaylar. Kaylar. No. No. <laughs> That's a top five. I don't know. That I one know, might be shocked. That one might be shocked. Yeah. Uh, you think no, that's a yeah, When more steps in there. And, I know. It's close oh to chalk. I can't help. I've got oh. one that's pretty chalky. Oh Even my though God. I said I wasn't going to. <laughs> so you're going Kalar in reunion. Yeah. So we get Spock. Worst parents, yep. random horny guy, Kaylar, <laughs> worst wife. <laughs> Jesus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. I should have been there. Um, uh, this is not my number one, but this is maybe my favorite final line. Uh, okay, my uh, round three pick, uh, five word summary greedy tech billionaire chewing the scenery. Yes. Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, Love this. Is, this is Star Trek Voyager mm -hmm. season three, episode nine, Future's End part two, and Henry Starling. Henry Starling. Yes. Love it. Love Who, it. The, and the reason why I love this so much is because he spends the whole two parter. <laughs> being completely in control, extremely arrogant, but like his arrogance is justified because he does everything right up until that point. And like the very moment he realizes his own hubris is the one where he dies. Amazing. Yeah. And it's Ed Bagley Jr. And it's I mean, yes. Ed Bagley Jr. Yes. 
Man, there are a lot of Voyager guest stars who are on Better Call Saul. And his yeah. final, <laughs> yeah. his yes. final line. Oh yeah, they work together. <laughs> his final line was, "Uh oh, oh yeah, yes." Oh. I love when Starling gets it. Great thing, <laughs> Matt. I love how we're doing this pattern of like fun, silly death. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. right. I'm gonna bring us right back down. Yeah, <laughs> do it. But um, this was something that I was not expecting. Didn't know I needed, but absolutely loved how it ended up concluding. Five words: I do see you. Everything. Hashtag. And you broke mine. The death oh, of no. Rolaren and imposters. Oh, oh, that was good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I did not realize after the end of Preemptive Strike how much I needed closure on that story, but like they managed to do it all in one episode, and I I loved it. I uh, miss her, yeah. but I did love that. It it was perfect conclusion to that character. It was I a did... perfect conclusion. And am I uh, am I allowed to say that I'm actually happy because I, I did read that they thought that they might actually bring her back and say that oh she got beamed off at the last minute. Don't, and I hope they don't either. I think that was a perfect no that conclusion. was the, that, if that listeners, was, uh, listeners if pretend that, you didn't hear that that was Terry Metalis being overshare on uh Twitter. But if, and if that character was going to die much. that was the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. that was Terry Metalis and his Twitter mania towards the <laughs> Twitter end of, mania the season during three. The Sorry yeah, end. the whole unless you saw them like clearly dead on screen and the camera lingered on them for five minutes, they might come back. Might come so back no, again. that's bad. Bad so storytelling. Hey, Terrence, you're listening. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the labels. I happily paid forty dollars for them today. Thank you. Yeah, Terrence's not listening. So Dad, he yeah. should have. All right, I got my five words are: Did we see his skull? Hashtag peaceful coexistence. No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And it is, is yes, it is Remmer in <laughs> conspiracy. conspiracy. Yes. Oh, oh so yes. Okay. That's yeah, a great pick. That's what a great, great, I should have okay. considered that one. Yeah, my, my five words are the same as yours. My my hashtag was nah. Because they really just were like, oh f you, and they shoot the guy. <laughs> it's the other, it's one of I the mean, other like eh. I yes. still I still love the fact that they got away with that on 1988. Oh, dude. It's I know. It's so yeah, chunky. So There's nothing like, oh, that's uh, not uh, enough. Yeah. There's brain Let's matter. give you like a wet yeah. puppet. They blew it up. They blew it up like a honey baked ham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so gross. So, <laughs> to be clear, that's one of your picks. It's my number up. one pick. All right. All right. So, Claire in the books for conspiracy as well. I love that. I think I forgot to fire the phasers on that. No, uh, you first. said pew, 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 pew. Yeah, no, on the first this is, oh. I just said it for this one. No, but but as a live episode, you're not allowed to actually edit that out and put... I'm editing all this out now. <laughs> okay, let's go... Okay, let's go to my number three pick to close this out. Five words and a hashtag. This is my most standard pick. Five words and a hashtag. Death by Kalenkai Swordsmanship. Hashtag. Just choose to live, my man. It's an absolute candor. And it's yes. Elnor just yeah. slicing that yes. guy's head off. Oh, Senator. When he's like, uh, yeah. Ardev. Yes. yes. And he's like, dude, choose to live. I love yeah. it. Don't do this. That's my favorite you thing about those. You more the, the choose to live. That whole yeah. scene is amazing. It sets up the whole so Ryan thing. Picard's trying to navigate this thing. Elnor comes oh, in at the last second to help him. Oh. Yes, that guy's really good. Oh, he chops his head off, and Picard is pissed that he chops this guy. He didn't deserve to die. He screams at him later. It's a great death. Really, really well done. Please, my friend. Choose to live. He's so graceful and deadly, and it's and and. But also like soft and naive, and it's just this wonderful combination. It really like, is. It's, I love it's that so hair. good. I regret your choice. And when Picard gets him up to the ship when they escape, he's just like, "Do not do that again." Yeah. <laughs> Here is lesson number one, as your yeah, son and father figure. Please, Elmore. Stop in, cutting uh, off people's heads. Great episode of Star Trek. El El Elmore in uh, the inevitable Star Trek legacy place. I'd like him to be on the ship. That would finally explain why they actually brought him back. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, because he's still on the contract. <coughs> right. Okay. That also explains it. <laughs> Let's go to. I'm editing that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to round two. Jamie, what's your number two? Pick? Okay, my number two. Uh, this character is kind of a duplicate in the sense that they. They exist in lots of different ways and in lots of different times. So my five words are, there's no defeating Picard's biceps. Hashtag snap, crackle, pop, and it's the death of the Borg Queen. Uh, yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, and you know, there are many, there are many Borg queens, or as I think it's properly said, Borg's queen. <laughs> and uh, I think that this one met a particularly satisfying end with a data assist there at the end, uh, and a fantastic end, a fantastic death to one of the best villains in Trek history. So uh, yeah, the Borg Queen is my second round pick. From I first contact. From first contact. Yeah. Yeah. I really first wanted contact, to pick yeah. her, but I looked at everyone and except for Picard, where she's like, no. Oh, she doesn't oh, yeah. have a final no line. Final line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You mean it's yeah. interesting? Yeah, yeah, more accurate. That's yeah. just a, I mean, great yeah. neck snap, final, too. Final snap. Great <laughs> neck snap. Like the yeah. satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who the Foley artist was who did that, but <laughs> props to you. Uh, that is uh, That was some great neck snapping yeah. sound. Yes. There. Amazing. Celery. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. Jen, yeah, what we, is yeah. your number two pick? Number two pick. They died as they lived. Hashtag together. TOS season two, episode 22, Return to Tomorrow, Sargon and oh. Lisa. Kiss oh. and oh. Baby. Oh. I love it. That's I love it. sad. It's so good. It's five words. That's sad. It's not sad. Though. I know, it's, it's not. not. You're right. You're right. It's, it's the end it. it's of lovely. It's You're right. lovely, and right. they just fade away, and it's beautiful. And we get to see Kirk and, and we Diana just, Mulder. And we get to see Chapel kill Enoch. Yeah. Right before that. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, she would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a great episode. That, that is great. Episode. Awesome. Okay. I love that death. I love it. That's a fantastic pick. Uh Ken, what's your number four pick? Your number um, two pick. Yes, my number two pick. Uh the five words are her absence drove them apart. Hashtag past, present, but not future. It's future Deanna Troy in all good things. Oh, nice. oh. Yeah. Died off screen, drove Riker in. Oh my God, the that's that's yeah. good, man. Riker that's became grumpy Riker. That's correct. I, I, was I a mean, little... he got a real bad die job. Yeah. I was a little. Bummed. Just look what happens when he's still alive. He looks great, but he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was a little bummed in Picard season three that we didn't get the Orson Welles Riker that all good things. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, to cool. keep up, to keep up the Curzon theme. Card season three, Riker, oh, yeah. is what happens when you have Troy in your life. Yeah, and she's yeah. going through the, the phase because she's yeah, yeah, like exactly. the right yes, age. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. yes. yes. Very healthy skin. I didn't want to frighten you. <laughs> we're going. Right. We've already heard from Claire, so we're going to Josh. What do you got? I'm going to bring us down. And this is All my right. most chalky of chalky picks okay. that I said I wasn't going to pick. Chalk. Right. The five words are Garrick's lost love, Ducat's insane. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's the first Zial. one I thought. Oh, yes. No, Came to my mind. Yes, it is. And, and my my uh, hashtag is damn you to Mark. Too, you know. Yeah. Um, what, and so sacrifice of angels. Yeah, sacrifice of angels. Amazing. That's I couldn't help it. That's the uh, very first thing I thought mm -hmm. of. What a death. Yeah. yeah, that's the top five. Yeah, too. yeah, it is. That's five, that one. Yeah. That one works. And it was interesting in reading about that episode how much they structured. You know, they really when they decided that Zial was going to be killed, how they tailored it to draw on our emotions as viewers and really. Yeah. They said they they it worked. Structured her character like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I was wow. even embarrassed. <laughs> That fits. But yes. Yeah. Uh, I think. I don't think that was chalk. You don't think that's too chalky? Okay. Good, no. I think yeah. that's like it's not a deep cut, but it's it's, it's not legit. it's not in the yeah. top okay, like. Good. Yeah, people, yeah. everyone's yeah. gonna pick your other three picks for all time. And it has <laughs> 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 well, that's okay, no. talk. <laughs> I uh, I dedicate this pick to Claire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Five word summary: Eyeball Klingon chewing the scenery. Hashtag: You will not have this, this day. day. <laughs> you will not have. <laughs> this is Star Trek Deep Space Nine season seven, episode 22, tacking into the wind and Chancellor Gowron, who very much yes, Worf right. does have this day at the exact moment that he says that because yeah. he is literally in the process of expiring. <laughs> Fantastic. Gowron. Oh, that's, that's such fantastic. a good one. That's perfect. I love it. Matt, what do you got? So again, uh, not necessarily a person, it's more of a doppelganger, but if this person actually died, it would die the exact same way. And I just <laughs> thought it was beautiful. Uh, five word summary together, your potential is infinite. Hashtag go boldly, the death of hologram Janeway in Supernova part two. Oh, oh, that was, that was oh yeah. Nice. That was, that was right there. Yeah. And again, I picked it because if the real Janeway were to go out, it would be just as heroic and she would give that 
very same speech. So I thought it was well done and it made me emotional for, for a kid's mm-hmm. cartoon. Jankum must be wondering why I'm very small. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a great pick, man. That's, so good. That so really, good. that fits. Okay, Thad, what do you got? Uh, my five words are clinical death, crisis of faith, hashtag no great forest, and it is Neelix in Mortal Coil. Okay. Oh, so good. Oh, oh I like that. So good. Yeah, it's a great episode. So I obviously he comes back to life pretty much immediately, but it is incredibly moving for the character because it changes his entire view on life and death. Yeah. 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 I love how they use the nanoprobes to save everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, no, they don't. <laughs> Just like how they don't use the transporter to DH oh, yeah. everybody <laughs> after they get on blast. Or that, yes. Or that nice uh, little con blood situation. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's got a little con blood. That's right. <laughs> All right. That's uh wow, that's a heavy pick. I love it. Oh, it's me. Okay, my number two pick. Yeah, this one was always on my list. Five words and a hashtag, death by porous dehydrated yes. Cubacta no. 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 And it is hashtag crumbled to dust. Uh. It's Yeoman <laughs> Leslie Thompson oh. yes. no. killed no. by Rojan, no. this asshole no. leader of the Kelvin. Yeah. Uh. He shrinks down uh, oh. Lieutenant Shea and Yeoman uh, Leslie Thompson into the cubes, throws them up. Yeah, and crushes one. You're not sure who it's going to be. Every time I watch it, it's just like, it's oh, who's it going to be? And it's, and the, the dude comes and, back, Shay, and uh, Yoma Thompson, the only uh, female red shirt to uh, uh, and, to and, and just got for, a good comic prequel a couple years ago. She did, yes, pretty good. It is really, good. yeah. And just for the record, that was by any other name. That was the episode. oh, yeah, by any other name is the episode. Thank you. I forgot to say that. Let me get down to the west. Okay. <laughs> Begin round one. Round one. Here we go, Jamie. Okay, round one. Five words. The 14th rule, no jokes. Hashtag collaborators deserve nothing less. And it is the death of Mira Odo at the hands of Bashir, who shoots him and he explodes Explodes. into a million bits of goo. (laughs) That, to me, is one of the best deaths. It's kind of like the top of the balloon that, like, you can... And I've got to say, the scene... (laughs) There's there's only one of him, you know. And uh, the CGI, it, it actually holds up pretty good for the time. Uh, and uh, I cannot wait to see it in beautiful high definition when yes. De- Deep Space Nine <laughs> is inevitably uh, released on uh, HD. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, you sure. know, whenever that. Oh, yeah, that's yes. whenever whenever that to be. Yeah. It's being announced you know, tomorrow. Top, yeah. that's, that part two will include our hopes and dreams. For Deep <laughs> <laughs> People, it is happening. It's going to be an upscale. At some point, technology will get to that level. They'll you upscale it. Forever. Everyone will be happy. When you do, it's okay. going, you'll, you'll see happen. every little bit of goo inside. <laughs> right. Love uh, it. Oh, it's already happened on Paramount Plus. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not like HD quality. No, it's just, it's just, it's just yeah, yeah, better yeah, yeah. and much better. The, the first couple you see the goo, but it's bigger. You always yeah. rave about Paramount Plus, Alex. Oh, uh, good deal. I have nothing but good news. Jen, what's your number yeah, one? Yeah, Paramount Show. Show. Oh, Paramount Show. 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 Mine is over here. Jen, what's your number one pick? Okay, my number one pick. He died as he lived. Hashtag a total load. Season four, episode nine, final mission, and the death oh of fucking God. Captain Durgo. Oh, he yes. dies encased in a selenium fiber shell. Oh my God. He Durgo. can't fucking do anything. Right. <laughs> so good. Yeah. That is, that is the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Durgo, the douchebag. Oh, uh, when he's great, he's got this, you know, he doesn't listen to what he, they spend the whole episode being alone, you know, hides. He no, thinks he's hiding water, no, but he's so dumb that he's hiding alcohol and making himself more dehydrated. Oh, yes. It's his fault Picard gets injured, you know, and then he doesn't listen to Wesley, gets himself killed, and he's got it's pretty great. He's in this weird fiber shell, he's got the yes. little terror on his face, and it's like, mm. good, maybe now they have a chance to make it out of this situation. I love it. Fantastic pick, Durgo. So good. Durgo. Durgo got what he deserved. <laughs> Ken, what do you got? Last pick. All right. My number one pick. My five words are gone before it all began. 
Hashtag 35 years later, dot, 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 Jack Crusher. Oh, the original. The original. Oh, I'm going with family yeah. as my pick. And we've heard a lot about them in Picard yeah. season three. Right. We've heard a lot about them. Huge so consequences. We never saw it. I yeah. like all that. the way through. We don't even know how he yeah. died. Massive yeah. death. <laughs> I thought when we saw Beverly wearing a coat that is very Monster Maroon reminiscent, that that was going to be Jack Crusher's, mm. like uniform. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He's got that that yeah. collar. Like, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Collar. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Excellent Prime Directive, all off-screen deaths. I love it. Claire, what's your number one pick? We're keeping it in the Crusher family. Oh. Uh, five words, mm. disruptor blast at that range. Hashtag fatal. It's Beverly's quote-unquote yes. death from the Romulan disruptor in time Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh, it is. Good. It yeah. freaked yeah. me out as a kid yes. because I got really like mm, on this, like she's She's it's, dead, but she's not dead right, yet. And yeah. she's going to and be she's dead. She's right There's now. nothing you can do. You spiraled over that, didn't yeah, you? I yeah, I totally did. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I mean, the doctor got in the way. Yeah, and she's just like, <laughs> sure she she, there's no viscera yet. No, she, but it's no, still but she, she's just disintegrating her torso. Yeah. Yeah, and like, and the fact that time hasn't actually stopped, it's just slowed way, 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 way down, which means that she is in the Slowly process dying, of dying. dying. Mm-hmm. Really, oh, woo! Wow, yeah. I, I never thought about that. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, you spiraled over that. Josh, what is your number one? Guarantee this one's not going to be Chucky. Okay. It happens off screen. Ooh. And my five words are dramatic pause. Five words. You have done it, doctor. Hashtag birth. Hit backwards again. <laughs> there we go. Hashtag. No, hashtag. But somehow I didn't expect to win. It's the death of Hippocrates Noah. Oh, oh, man, this year. oh yes. that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> if it's your exactly. prime directive as well. Sure does. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. And uh, thank yeah. you, Mr. Dusha. <laughs> <laughs> Avery just chews that up. Oh, it's so good. And everyone on Earth. Yes. There were a few deaths in that. Well, there were a few deaths. Just the entire world. Yeah. Mm. There comes a time when a house has been so damaged by termites that you must not only kill the termites, but demolish the house and build again. All right. Uh, My number one pick. This is the one that inspired me to do my whole prime directive. (laughs) Uh, five word summary Shakespearean Klingon chewing the scenery hashtag to be or <laughs> not oh, to be yes. this is Star Trek 6 the undiscovered country and general chat yes. of course two plumbers major list yes. Yes. major list yeah I almost yes, I almost I, I, did yes. and I intentionally yeah so I started with a plumber and okay. I ended with a plumber love it beautiful Mario that was that. definitely on my <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's slip the dogs of war. <laughs> Bones. Where's my torpedo? Bet you wish you'd stood in bed. Shields collapsing! I give real money and he'd shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's a great. I am constant as the northern star. Another great prime directive. All famous quotes. I love it. Uh, Matt, what do you got? So this is this also inspired my prime directive because for me, this would be in my number one Star Trek death anyway. It's a, not even a person, it's not a doppelganger, it's not even humanoid, but it's historic, it's poignant, it's emotional, okay. and it's just fantastic. Hashtag, no tricks, Kirk. Uh, the uh, five word summary, I'll do it like uh, it's on screen. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Destruct, <laughs> zero. It would be the, the death, death of the of original the USS Enterprise yeah. in Star Trek oh, oh, Don't like oh, it. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> Yeah, I love that movie. I think it's underrated anyway, and that was a huge thing when I watched that movie for the first time. I think I was. I mean, that's as big a death as there's ever been. In- <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what have I done? Uh, all right, fantastic pick, Thad. What do you got? All right, I've got five words: are dipshit from Chicago does yeah. care. Yeah. Hashtag Aww. not my ship anymore, Aww. and it is. Shaw Uh, dying to allow Picard and crew to leave and save the day. No, no. It's it's not my ship anymore. It's yours. You have the cons. 
seven of nine. That one hurts. Yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah. And that's, none that of us thought it would box, hurt right? after the first yes, introduction. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, nobody thought it would hurt seeing yeah. that guy die. No, he's such a dick. Because he is horrible mm -hmm. when you first meet him. What character development? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was amazing. Hopefully they got some nanites. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Or well, you know, that's one of the many things that Terry Metallus tweeted was that Shaw will be will be would be in Legacy in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, they would. they're gonna pull an Emperor show yeah, yeah, somehow. somehow. <laughs> okay, let's close it out. My like round one. Okay, this is my off screen. This does not take place on screen. Five words and a hashtag. Death by Garrick's cunning ruthlessness, hashtag, a very messy, very bloody business. Oh, yes. But it is not Senator Vrenak. All it cost was a life of one Romulan senator, one criminal, and the self-respect of one Starfleet officer. My pick is the criminal Graython Tolar, who I love yeah, this yeah, character, yeah, the, the, the forger, and he's so happy to be there, and yeah. he's so effervescent. Maybe I love this guy. Far, right? And the slave girls. <laughs> then he finds out Garrick's there. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I'll be waiting in my quarter. <laughs> and then he says, okay, here's your, uh, your optolithic rod. Yeah. Nope, you're not leaving. <laughs> and then Garrick says, I sincerely hope so. Now, why don't you go back to your quarters? I'll be along to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be along to say hello. <laughs> so beautiful. And you know, Graythar, he knows, Graythar Tolar knows what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. I love this death. I love Garrick. I know. Uh, and then at the end, I mean, think of them both as casualties of war. <laughs> yes, that was the last line, right? They're both uh, tragic victims tragic of war. Victims of war. Okay, that is our roundup secondary systems. Let's see what you can do with the secondary systems. Who's got some, Jamie? You got any? Yep, I got a few. In fact, I've got some that fit other people's uh, prime directives. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, for off-screen death, can I go with uh, Boimler's um, uh, uh, transporter duplicate that is not really yeah. a death? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, yeah. because he's going to come back hopefully in the next season yep. working for section 31 yes. um uh, as far as uh last lines i think uh krajinski from the adversary too late we're everywhere too late we're everywhere yeah, that seems good. to me to be a now you don't actually hear him say it in the yep. show but as as for something that you know, propels DS9 forward. That that's pretty amazing. That's good. Um, I had Pulaski and Riker murdering their own clones just to <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. up the yes. up the long ladder. Yeah. Yeah. The two they're things really that just walk in and they're like, oh, we don't have these things. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to Port Odo, killing your own clone is still murder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, Burnham uh, <laughs> dies in the forge in if memory serves. Yep. Uh, at the at the hands of some creature or other. Um, and my uh, I, it wouldn't be Drek ranks without me picking um, Vic Fontaine. So I have Terran oh, Vic Fontaine, yes, of course, yes. in the Emperor's new cloak, yeah. uh, going out like a legend. Yep. So um, maybe an android. Or maybe Paul went out for Vic uh, in the mirror universe. That's, That's me. fantastic. You would go, Fontaine. I love it. Shan, <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Okay, so similar to your Beverly Crusher and Timescape, what freaked me out existentially was the Vulcan, the I'm sorry, the Romulan science officer in the next phase who was just yes. Oh, yes. out yes. into 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 oh, the void by La Forge yeah, and terrifying. to just what yeah. a terrifying way to die. Yeah, he has really nothing good. to do but wait in the void of space. That's to, spectacular to, to uh, die of hunger. Yeah, that's, that's horrifying. terrifying, horrifying. Really I mean, um, wouldn't he die from like not having anything to breathe? No, because they can They're breathe. Not breathing. Yeah, it's yeah, easy. Yeah. Phase yeah. like he's phased. Yeah. 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 So by the rules of the episode, he can breathe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any sense. No, like, the whole episode doesn't make any sense. And walk on the floor. floor. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
their guts. Me skeletons. Out. You see their skulls too. Yeah. You see their skulls. Okay. And then the last one that really freaked me out when I was little was uh, the the Tellerite ambassador in Journey to Babel, just sticking uh, out of the uh, diagonal. Yeah. Jeffrey's too. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, gross. That's Chris. a good one. All right, uh, all my secondary are not for my theme at all. Yes. Okay. So I had two yeah. uh, good ones from on screen. Archer's fake pretend death in Chosen Realm when he chooses to be executed by transport. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, That's such good. a good yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, another one is from Schisms where that random ensign's blood gets turned yeah. into liquid plastic. Yes. Oh, and he's like a yes. dead zombie right. when they open the door. Yes. And he's all oh. pale and shit. Yeah. Yes, gross. But the rest of mine are all outside of production related things or outside of live action you've got the i'll say the calvin timeline that's done i've got eagle moss and the novos oh, wow. Wow. i've got uh upn <laughs> and, and, and finally finally licensed star trek convention oh. Oh. Uh, everyone yes. listening at home, Ken, is wearing, Ken is wearing a UPN t-shirt. He, <laughs> he really is. Yes. All right, that's four pretty good deaths right there. Yeah. Uh, Claire. Uh, I also had the Loud as a Whisper people. Yeah, I had them too. Um, this is a little too serious for my picks, but I went with Voyager's original engineer, Joe Carey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. that I, I mean, no offense guy but i don't really care that he died but it's a significant death because it, it gives us bolana torres as the engineer no joe he, he dies at the he end dies at the end he dies no. in season seven no he season dies in season seven. Seven. i got the wrong name yeah they no, got they, they, they do have a chief engineer we never oh, see the original, right. That's what it is. The the original, original chief engineer, engineer. Yeah. the okay. nameless guy sorry yeah. i was like hey, yeah. the name of the name joe yes. carey's death he dies right before they get home no, they bring right. him back after like six years of not seeing him and they kill him they thought they already killed him yeah. They didn't realize yeah. he was still alive. But you guys, listeners, I've never actually seen Star Trek. I've been... <laughs> no. That happens the the original time. Voyager engineer, whatever yes. that dude's yeah. name was. Or uh, Roger Dengar, the chief medical officer on Voyager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the lady in the floor who dies like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in theory, right? In, uh, in, yeah. in, in, which is weird that that happens in, in theory. In a comedy episode. I know. Right. It's like, it's oh, okay. Horrifying. That's horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. A couple that I had, I had Alex's Chang from Star Trek VI. Okay. The one that I thought might get mentioned here but didn't fit my prime directive at all was the, the, the short treks. The trouble with Edward. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> Because that's creepy. When yes. You see yes, yes, it is. The triples. By triples. Yeah, they feel real. <laughs> yeah. That's the one they didn't make my prime directive. He died. Yes. He died as he lived. And then he ashed out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'll do I recognize that. I have three final lines. Uh, one from Hell's Heart, I stab at thee. Yes. For hate's sake, I oh, spit yes. my last breath at thee. I <laughs> uh, can't. Uh, number two. Gee, thanks for clarifying. Um, <laughs> well, not everybody Wait, knows as well as the eight hot? other people in this that? room. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's for the, <laughs> the audience, not for you animals. Okay. <laughs> My second uh, one is okay. Okay. All right. I, all right. I will. I will give you the next two, and you have to tell me who it is. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> the line is: um, I shall return to seek my revenge. Yeah, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's, that's Dr. Chaosica from Bride of Chaos. Yeah. And then my last one, which I dedicate to one Jim Morehouse, because yeah. you picked this, you picked this episode on a on a recent Trek ranks. Let there be light! Oh, I love Dr. Satan. I actually have grown to really like that episode of Second Sight. Nice. I'm yeah, telling you, people, it. revisit it. It's it's kind of cool. Kind of mm. cool. Say it takes annoying, but I'm <laughs> telling you, it's not bad. Matthew. Yeah, I just had three random secondary systems that don't really fit my prime well, directive. By the way, say it takes an awesome day. That's a great yeah. day. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a great day. It's, it's a star. Yeah, that is a bad day. Oh, yeah, Go. A um, yeah. One's a rip off of yours. The uh, Feel free. the Thomas Je the Thomas Decker changeling at the end of 17 seconds, where he literally like 
cannot hold oh, the yeah. shape anymore and oh, disintegrates yeah, to death. Yeah, that's good. And it's, it's, it's the whole reveal. Oh, that, that, that you visited, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just a great reveal. And the two that freaked me out as a kid, one, I'm surprised it hasn't come up yet, but the motion picture transporter accident. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 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 But I, but I think, they didn't yeah. die, though, did they? Did the they team? get the yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we yeah. got yeah. back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused with the people who got beamed up with leaves all over them. Claire reminded me. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And, but, I think, <laughs> but I actually think the, the, I actually think the transporter death that freaked me out a little bit more was um, Kira's friend um, Alice in Darkness of the Light oh, when they beam her yeah. up and she's basically fried to a charred corpse in the yeah. transporter. Yeah, that was yeah. brutal. Speaking yeah. of that, I'd like to give a shout out to the guy in Benga just deleted from the transporter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Honorable so, I mean, yeah. He was gonna die anyway. Uh, that's two darkness and a light picks. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was, so, they had some that's that's a two. twisted episode. <laughs> that's two. I like it. Dad, what do you got? Um, well, uh, picking off what Claire said, I would I would nominate Lieutenant Commander Cavit from Voyager, who only died because he couldn't went, find a seat a, after ordering people to brace from impact, decided to run across the <laughs> bridge. Uh, <laughs> and, and what, what that's that's the original, the original first officer. Oh, in yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I also would also have to nominate uh, Noble Aichaya Spock Sela. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh no, that's sad. too sad. Okay, all right, then we'll. I just have one left, uh, all time classic death. R.I.P. Schmitter at the beginning. Oh, oh yes. devil in the dark. <laughs> Poor old Poor Schmitter. Schmitter. We love him. Okay, we are going into our regeneration cycle. We are not recapping our picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? How that we, would be too we, much. Can you recap the stats of like which, which series got the most? Yeah, we're going to do that okay. in the regeneration cycle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what's Dude, next. Like, you ever okay. listen to the show? That's literally I how the show works. Here we go. Computer, activate regeneration cycle. Alcoves beta and gamma. Okay, we're back. We are not recapping our picks, like I said, but here are some stats. Two duplicates. Three Which out of 45 deaths. five picks it's for only crazy. two I know, duplicates. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, here's the numbers. I, I think I lost count somewhere. I missed some numbers <laughs> here. Every incarnation was picked except for uh, short tracks and lower decks and the animated series. Uh, one each from Strange New Worlds, Prodigy, Kelvin Timeline, two from Discovery, three from Enterprise, four from Picard, five from TOS, six from Voyager, nine from Deep Space Nine, <laughs> and leading the way with 11 picks was TNG. Lots. How many movies? And one movie. Oh, and movies was five. Five movies. Oh, right. That's, it was like five. That's gotta be the most movies. Five movies is a lot. Never Man, oh, I just, I, 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 I just thought one nobody said. Yeah. We should do this. What is show. it, Genevieve Bougeau? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The Star Trek Prodigy. Oh, oh no. 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 Okay. That's too bad. That's not too, 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 too sad. Okay, that's it. We're going to initiate our temporal inversion right now because it's time to hear from you. Initiate temporal inversion. Initiating. And for this week's temporal inversion, we're going back to episode 160 in our top five best hot mess. And this is perfect. Best hot mess. That's appropriate for this <laughs> particular episode of Trek Ranks. We are going to hear from our friend John Krikorian, the host of the Trek Profiles podcast. This is a great list of hot mess. Hey, Trek Ranks listeners, this is John Krikorian with my list for a hot mess. And as for my prime directive, when I was thinking about hot mess, I have to say I didn't think of people. I actually thought more of situations, so let's get into it. Number five, five words and a hashtag. Replicating is a risky business, hashtag pot roast, and it's Janeway's dinner from Ashes to Ashes. Uh, it's I know it's been a topic of conversation. How do you burn something in the replicator? Um, I just found the whole thing charming. The whole idea of burning the food didn't bother me too much. I just thought it was wonderful, but it is actually a complete hot steaming mess that she makes trying to make that pot roast out of, out of the replicator. Number four, five words, bubbling, flowing, hot murder lava, hashtag cold fusion, and it's the Nibiru Volcano from Into Darkness. Um, this actually has my favorite 
um, not spacesuit, I guess, but environment suit in all of Star Trek, that copper suit that Spock is wearing. It's just amazing. But the volcano is out to kill everyone and it is just ready to do that. They got to send off the cold fusion device to stop it. And it is an actual hot mess that's going to kill everyone. And I just love that whole scene at the beginning of Into Darkness. I think it's just fantastic. Number three, The Planet of Galactic Peace, hashtag share your pain. Nimbus 3 is an actual hot mess. The whole planet is just a disaster. The ambassadors are all drunk or weird. I mean, it's just a mess. Everything about the planet is a mess. And I think that the powers that be in the Star Trek universe, you know, in universe kind of wanted it that way. Um, so it's certainly one of the first things I thought of for this as just the very paragon of a situation that is a hot mess. Number two, five words. There's so many of me. Hashtag emotional defense mechanism. And it is an embarrassment of duplers. It's the duplers. There's just so many of them. And the whole thing is just a hot mess. They're popping into duplicates of themselves all over the ship. And it's just a crazy situation, which is, of course, one of the hallmarks of Lower Decks, which we love so much. So I just love that whole thing with the duplers. And the voice acting was just fantastic. And it was one of the first things I thought of uh, right along with Nimbus 3. So uh, an embarrassment of duplers is my number two. And finally, my number one choice, it's a little bit meta, but the five words are all white, black, and empty, hashtag what of Lazarus, and it's the TOS episode, The Alternative Factor, and it's the entire episode is a hot mess. Um, for those who don't know the backstory, they had a big guest star lined up, and he dropped out at the last minute, and they were rewriting the episode, and and the, the actual actor that they got, Brown, uh, he thought he was coming in for a meeting. He was at his own birthday party, and, and they said, come for a meeting with Gene Roddenberry, and he shows up for a meeting because he, he just needs to go back for his birthday party, and basically they throw him in a costuming and – put him in a motel and make him stay overnight and do the part. I mean, the whole production was a mess. They were rewriting at the last minute. They almost scrapped the whole episode. Um, the backstory is really wild. I would encourage people to go check that out. So that is my number one hot mess, uh, the episode, The Alternative Factor from TOS. There you go. And uh, thanks for listening. And uh, everybody enjoy your Trek ranks. Live long and prosper. Okay. I love that list because he's got – uh, I, he, I just love that he picked Nimbus 3 and the freaking planet of galactic peace because that place is a hot mess and so is Star Trek V The Final Frontier. <laughs> oh, yes. so once again, those picks more than enough to clear ourselves from this week's temporal inversion. So as always, I want to thank everyone for all your great responses to the Trek Ranks podcast. Keep your list coming to me at Trek Ranks on Twitter so we can retweet them. But we also want to hear from you. So put together your own list of the best deaths or a list from any of our past shows Give us a call at the Tricorder Transmissions at 609-512-5527 or just record your picks and send me a DM and we can connect that way. So hopefully we'll hear from you so you can be featured on the next episode of Trek Ranks. And on the next episode of Trek Ranks, we are doing a awesome topic. It's very cool or hot or stormy, depending on where you are. It's the top five weather-related incidents. So, everybody, if you had one <laughs> Star Trek weather related incident you want to pick, I've already, this episode has already been recorded, so none of this will have any effect on what we're going to talk about. What would it be, Jake? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> something what would you in, in, Commodore. The oh, sky is mine. full of Federation <laughs> starships. You took mine. Does it rain on Galandin Core? Yes. Galandin I love it. I love it. Can I do something on Ferengano with the rains of Ferengano? Of course. Glamming. Glamming everywhere. You know All the, the, the uh, firestorms from Wesson. Yes, for South oh, Street, oh, 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 the firestorms. For, right. for ad, in honor of I will do the, 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 uh, <laughs> the inhospitable surface of uh, Rurapente, Star Trek 6. Oh, that's a good oh, one. I would say the malfunctioning weather control system from Ooh. Sub Rosa. Oh, Sub oh. Rosa. Oh, I thought not, you meant that. I was going to say the the ghost that is sort of a fog at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fog. Fog. I'm going to rise up the rainstorm. Rise up. Yeah. 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 The yeah. terrorist yeah. act that Worf commits and then never ever right. is punished for ever. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I'll also mention when Laz the changeling becomes fog. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, so there's a lot of interesting picks. Uh, some of them were just <laughs> mentioned, and some weren't. So that's going to be a great episode. <laughs> Trust me, it's a good one. Uh, we're being joined by an actual meteorologist, Katie uh, Nicolau, and then our buddy Ross Webster. Ross. Host of the Snap Trek podcast along with Jen Tip. Okay, amazing episode. Thanks to Jamie McGregor, Jen Tip, Ken Riley, Claire Little, Josh Duffy, Alex Perry, Matt Hansen, Dad Hate, 
awesome episode. So we're going to do a scrambler code Riker 1. Channel closed. Reset. Subspace communications. Scrambler code Riker 1. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> okay, we're departing. Thanks, everybody, for engaging with us here on episode 166 of the Trek Ranks podcast. As always, I want to close by saying I'm looking forward to standing with you again here in this place where I belong. I'm going to report this, Riker. You can count on that. You're a dead man, Apgar. A dead man. I just want to remind everyone again that the entire Trek Ranks catalog is available for you to download and listen to at trekranks.com and on your podcast player of choice. Our episodes never get carbon data, so check out the topics you've missed and maybe just want to listen to again over at trekranks.com. And a reminder to check out our friends Five Year Mission at fiveyearmission.net. They're writing a song for every episode of Star Trek and you won't believe how great their music is. They also have a podcast at the Trek Geeks Network, so seek them out. You won't regret it. My number two. Yeah. It's a it is a valiant number one. It could be a number one, yeah. Oh, the valiant? No, that was valiant. they also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those, 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 those deaths were more good for me. I was gonna say yeah, that's, we, that's we, next year's episode. We talk, the worst deaths. Yeah. Well no, if we talk about deaths we enjoyed watching, that, that was yeah, the right. best part of that episode for me. Yeah. <laughs> there are no good parts of that episode for me. Thank you, Thad. I'm afraid we are a we're a small but mighty crew of people who think that the Valiant is shit. I, I think it's shit too. I think oh, most no. people I mean, think the Valiant is shit. It's so bad. It's bad. But I mean, like you've, got, only... you've got like Sarah Michelle Gellar that they got on Wish. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but, and also too, they got they kind of got like Jennifer Lawrence on with Alpha Wish too, with the one cadet yeah. that survives. That's who she reminds me of. Okay. You can't edit this out, Jim. This is quality well, out material. Because Valiant. Fucking rules! <laughs> We're Red Squad, and we can do anything. Red Squad, 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 Red Squad.